When you're live streaming on TikTok, you want to make sure that you're using every advantage TikTok offers to you. So today, let's talk about how to use the green screen effect that actually allows us to do some screen sharing while we're live on air. Now, if you don't know how to live stream on TikTok, make sure you hit up the videos down in the toolbar below because those are going to be invaluable resources on knowing what buttons to hit, when to hit them, when you have access to these features, and everything else you need to grow your platform on TikTok. But let's talk about that green screen effect. Now, once you go over and toggle over to the live screen, you are going to be able to hit the effects button and when you hit the effects button the green screen option will appear there now there are other options available but I don't recommend using those on live streams those are gonna look really weird they are not gonna get people's attention and it's not going to communicate your point valuably so I do recommend that you are using the screen share function now it automatically auto populates with this building behind us and then it brings up your camera roll now I have found that things that you send from your computer to your phone and save aren't necessarily going Going to appear in your camera roll. It does have to look native to your camera roll, which means you may need to screenshot the picture that you took and then bring it into your camera roll that way. So you're going to be able to click on that and all of a sudden it's going to green screen you out. Now you can see there's kind of a weird rim around it. It is something that is just going to be there unfortunately, but you can work with it by remembering that when you put fingers up, sometimes it's going to cut off part of your fingers. So if you can point over top of your face, that is going to be really helpful to you. Now remember, as it's doing this green screen feature, it is just cutting out where it thinks you are. So the more separation you put between you and your background, the better it's going to be. Or if you use a solid color background, you're more likely to be cut out better than if it was a busy background and you're not going to have some of these weird things pop popping up just like this. So the closer you stand, the worse it's going to be for cutting you out properly. So you do have the ability to toggle between your images. You can go through whatever you want there and you can do this while you're on air. Now you have to set up your green screen effect first. So if you go live without the green screen effect, sorry, can't help you. So you are going to want to make sure that you are using one of these and then you're going to hit your go live button. Once you hit your go live button, it will give you your countdown and then you will be live on air, at which point you can use the little uh, pencil button and click on effects. And when you click on effects, it will pull up the ability to kind of change some of those things. So you want to do that while you are live on air. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end that one. And you are going to be able to do this while you are live on air. Now I do recommend for best practices as you're doing this that you have all of your graphics ready to go. And keep in mind, because this is green screen rather than screen sharing like on Instagram, which we have tutorials for you down below, you want to make sure that all of your content is kept up top. And you do want to be on the lower part of your screen. Now remember, as you are on the lower part of your screen, your face will be covered with user comments. So you want to just take it into consideration where you're putting content. If you do have something you want to share and you want to make sure your face is visibly seen, you can put it on the left side or the right side very dramatically to one side or the other, and then you can just kind of cut off your face or sit in the corner a little bit and point to things and discuss things. But keep in mind, people are going to be paying attention to you where you are positioned in the camera frame. So you want to make sure that you are close enough that people can hear you. You want to make sure that people can easily see you. But we know from TikTok specifically, you do better when you are further away from the camera. When you have that more long view of yourself, people will stop longer to watch and interact with your content, whether it is a normal TikTok or it is going to be a live stream. So you may actually want to step away and have it on the side practice first. Make sure you know exactly where you want to be. So position your camera, see how far back you can get or how close you can get where you need to be. And then as you're designing those, make sure that it is in the proper location so that it doesn't cut off your words or make it problematic for you to share this information while you are going. I do recommend having more of a less busy background on your images so that people can easily see the content that you're putting out there. So if you have like lots of lines and lots of waves, it could make it harder to read your text. You want them to focus on where you want them to focus on, which means the text that you're delivering, if that's on your screen, or if you're doing an image, make sure it's up higher so that people can see it and know where you want to be positioned within that camera frame as you are going. Now for more best practices on TikTok live streams, hit up the toolbar down below and hit the subscribe and notification bell because in the next video, we're actually going to be talking about a brand new TikTok feature that allows you to download your footage. So we've already told you how you can be saving your TikTok live streams to repurpose them elsewhere, but now they've got a brand new feature. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it to download your footage directly from TikTok. You do not want to miss this one. And keep in mind that as you are creating your screens for your green screen screen sharing effect on TikTok, you want to make sure that you've got them all designed, send them all to your phone, screenshot each and every one of them, preferably in the order that you're going to be delivering your content in, 
because this is going to make it a lot easier. You won't have to scroll through and find things and it's going to make it so much more valuable for you to just kind of click through and go through your discussion as you are live. And I do recommend if you're doing a Q&A or you're doing an educational kind of content that you do have a screen in there that shows that you're taking questions and a screen that shows where people can go next. So those next actionable steps, whether it's your website, signing up for your newsletter, going and watching a YouTube video, whatever it is, give them that call to action on screen so that during your live stream, you can refer to that and send people where they need to go. Anytime you can put information on your phone, on the screen where people can see it while you're on air and just take that screenshot and move forward, that is going to make them take a lot more action than if you were just talking about it. For more tips on how to live stream in a valuable way on a social media platform like TikTok, we've got a really great Instagram resource down below and tons of resources on how to live stream on all the platforms in a valuable way that will get you to create more profit inside of your business. So stay tuned. Big things are coming and hit up those videos down in the description bar below because you don't want to miss this. I'll see you in the next videos. We're talking all about how to download your TikTok footage so that you can repurpose it elsewhere.